just to introduce Swiss Rudix a little bit, we're a life science tools provider and we allow our customers to find and isolate rare and valuable cells. Uh, and that's really interesting in the context of the pharmaceutical and drug discovery landscape because it replaces techniques that um, previously were, were very long, arduous and costly. The brief for Sphere Fluidics was to create a space where they brought in their office and laboratory workers from around Cambridge in, under one roof. They emphasised a lot on their corporate branding, well-being of staff. They wanted to create a space that is flexible for working from home, hybrid office, but also for people to kind of come in under one roof and for everyone to enjoy the space. One of the things I really enjoyed about working on this project was the early engagement with the client and the stakeholders from Sphere Fluidics. We worked really hard at the pre-construction phase to ensure that the design was fully coordinated and went to site with no problems. Now, would I recommend Coel as a partner in the future? Uh, I absolutely would. We worked with Coel for two phases of this project. Ultimately, why did we decide to partner with Coel? There was a lot of trust built up in the first phase. We saw the execution of that project run exactly to time and delivered a, a very high quality of product. So I have to say that this got put in motion before I joined the company and a lot about the brief and the vision for that space is why I joined the company. The actual ambition of trying to take what our outside look was then, which was very much product focused, clinical, blue, traditional life science, into something with a personality that really reflected what we were like internally was really important and that is part of what I was trying to achieve once I came on board. So in our facility strategy over the last few years, we've really been looking for a building that allowed us to consolidate uh, our disparate sites. For a long time, we were looking for a building to bring our whole team together in one place and we very much saw that being in, in Cambridge. And I'm really pleased with what it gives us in terms of its, its capabilities and the other options that our staff have. When designing and creating a lab and office space for a client, laboratories do tend to take priority and you need to make sure the footprint and the square meterage is right for each lab and the activities within it. It's really important to get all the information from the users and make sure the equipment fit, they have enough workspace and circulation space and all the m and &E requirements to be taken note of. The reason I think the lab space is so important is that really part of what we're trying to achieve is to innovate and create the future and we really can't do that without the highest tech possible labs, right? So for us, what we're doing is getting the R&D teams the best possible space, whether that be for engineering, chemistry or the biologists, to really progress and help meet the needs of our customers. It's very important to understand the client science within the laboratories to ascertain which gases and which services we need to bring into the building. This can be a particular challenge around existing premises where they may be not set up as laboratories in the first instance. The decision to make the labs different colours um, was a decision on two levels and it was actually prompted by Greta when she said, you've got all this lovely new branding and your new colours, why don't you think about bringing that into the lab space? We thought it was a great opportunity to bring the branding into different spaces but also allow the lab guys to have their personality shine through. The different colours on the labs will definitely help uh, different teams within the company. Obviously we've got engineering, biology, chemistry, production and QC, so having the labs with different colours will help make it more personal for them and make it easier to work because we spend a lot of the time in the lab. Sphere Fluidics are so lucky to be surrounded by such lovely nature outside that it was so important to bring the elements of biophilic design into the scheme. So we wanted to use a lot of foliage. We wanted to make sure that it's welcoming feeling that you get when you're in nature. It relaxes you, it kind of brings that calmness. For me, I have to say, I'm a hybrid worker. It's actually made such a huge difference to have the hot desking space where I can come in, as well as having lockers, so I do have some form of permanent home for my belongings. My overall opinion of the whole kind of phase one and phase two being done is it's nice because it kind of brings us all together. So not only is the building just one now, we're all working together, we can talk together and not have to do it through teams as much, so we can go into a booth 
or going to the kitchen and have a more relaxed setting. The greatest fear on day one is the, the building won't work for some reason. The greatest feedback that I think we had on that day, and this will sound really mundane, but someone senior said to me, it's great, everything just works. And I think the staff internally have just really appreciated the high quality design and just those options that the building gives us in terms of collaboration spaces, future flexible spaces. So we've designed in kind of lab expansion areas. We've put in uh, elements of the building that will allow us to use it very differently in the future. And again, we could just see on the plans and the look and feel documents, the design that you know, was proposed and we really shared that ambition for what the building could become.